in secure, clean rooms all across the nation. The future is under construction. As you can tell, it's a little bit noisy in here, and that's because this room needs to be kept very, very clean. Teresa Segura is a lead scientist on the next generation in space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope. Teams of scientists are hard at work on a marvel of engineering that will soon scour the universe for signs of life. James Webb will orbit the sun in tandem with our planet from a perch almost a million miles away. The telescope's precision optical system only works in the extreme cold of space, where it's some 400 degrees below zero. And solar heat can destroy Webb's delicate electronics. Out here, repairs are impossible. So a powerful new sun shield is in the final stages of testing. The Webb Telescope's sun shield is the size of a tennis court and functions a little bit like an umbrella. This is more than a giant umbrella. Five layers of specially designed Kapton blankets work in concert to create the highest SPF in the galaxy. The sun shield is protecting the Webb Telescope from the sun, just as you put on sunscreen, except the equivalent of the sun shield is one million SPF, not the 50 that you're used to. <laughs> Unlike most other telescopes, Webb will search for the next Earth in an invisible part of the spectrum called the infrared. That's because viewing the universe in the infrared allows the telescope to peer through dusty clouds and see farther and more clearly into deep space than in the visible range. The Webb Telescope is the largest infrared telescope ever built, and it operates in the infrared because it's looking for very faint objects. You can think of infrared as heat. You can feel heat, but you can't actually see it with your eyes. Another good example is night vision goggles. You can't see at night, but when you put the goggles on, you can see things around you because the goggles function in the infrared. But the Webb telescope is like night vision goggles on steroids. Webb's ability to see faint light is so good that it will be able to see a night light on the moon from a spot on the Earth. It is the most powerful infrared telescope ever designed. Transporting this collage of mirrors, Kapton, and electronics into space presents an enormous challenge. It is actually wider than a two-story building is tall, and because of that does not fit in any current uh, rockets. And so we had to segment it, and that is make it into 18 individual segments so that we could fold it up, sort of like origami, and fit it into the rocket. So we could consider it the origami telescope. Once it is unfolded, this origami telescope will set its sights on finding water and the chemistry of life by analyzing the atmosphere of alien worlds. James Webb can detect the key ingredients for life, that being carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, and water. All in hopes of answering the question, are we alone? Perhaps leading to the ultimate prize. Finding life on any planet besides the Earth would just be the discovery of a lifetime. And that discovery will owe a lot to all that has come before. 2008, the venerable Hubble Space Telescope makes history. These are only a handful of pixels, but together 
They are the first direct image of a planet captured around another star. The planet is 25 light years away in the southern constellation of Pisces Australis and is called Fomalot B. For astronomers, the day is coming when this handful of pixels is another Earth. We're developing the technology right now to one day be able to take a picture of a planet. And when they do, it will change our lives forever. It is perhaps one of the most famous photographs in the world. The Earth, as seen for the first time from space by the crew of Apollo 8. I think that the first images of Earth from the Apollo missions changed the way that people thought of Earth. And when we find pale blue dots, other Earths far away, it will just completely change the way that we see ourselves. It's very different to actually know, to be able to look up in the sky, point to a star, and say, I know that there's living creatures right there, right there. Humanity is on the verge of the greatest revelation in history. There may come a time when we can look at an evening star and see something familiar. An alien Earth with its own civilization looking right back at us.